Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Have an abundance consciousness. Now, this is something I will usually do on my Deep Thought channel, but look, and I know I talk about businesses, jobs, managing your money on this channel, but the thing about money, you got to have the right consciousness to even go out there and make money. And that consciousness got to be an abundance consciousness. You got to feel like there's always money out there. There is always money. I use myself for an example. I use myself. My business really, really, truly took off and has been consistent. The most consistent has been um, in years. Now, I've been in had a publishing business since the 90s, but I had great period. I had well, so-so periods, good periods, great periods. Then dip down, had like slow periods. But now uh, is at a place now where it's consistently risen now, consistently, seven years, like consistently, right? And I'm like, well, what did I change? It was the abundance consciousness. Because, like I said, there was a point where it was great, then it went down. I didn't have the right consciousness. I didn't have, I didn't have the right consciousness. You know, I was worried because... I was in publishing and a lot of the, uh, there was some changes. A lot of the bookstores <clears throat> that I was using were going out of business, right? Going out of business. And I was like, oh, man, oh, man, I don't have it. And I should have just shifted up then. But there was some other stuff, but we won't get into that. But I didn't have the right consciousness. Now. Uh, more recent, when I developed the right consciousness, no matter what, more money would come in, no matter what, right? But it was the abundance. See, understand something. First, you got to have that consciousness that there's always money. See, money is more than just that, you know, piece of paper or numbers on a computer screen or something like that. It's an energy. It's a flow. That's why they call it currency. It's always floating around. And, like, there's tons of money out there. But you have to have the mindset to provide a product or a service which will get that money. And that's what I do. See, that's the thing. Or if you're not going to be in business, just have the mindset that there's always someone that could use your services in a job. Always somebody. Like, when I talked in my last podcast about, you know, taking a job you need until you get the one you want. There's tons of jobs out there. There are tons of jobs out there. Somebody's always hiring. Somebody, I don't care. Even during the pandemic lockdowns, there was somebody hiring. All right? So you can always get that money. But in order to even get to that point, whether you're in business, whether you have a job, uh, you have to have that mindset that the money is there. The only thing you need there past that is to get that money. And that's having an abundance conscience. There's plenty. There's tons of it. I mean, if you look at a billionaire, they got a big abundance consciousness. That's because there's, well, trillions or quadrillions, whatever the number is after that. We usually barely get past quadrillions, but there's money out there. But you have to figure out, okay, like, think about, like, all this money out here is an ocean, right? Big old ocean. And you live by the ocean, right? Yeah, you can walk to it, but you want to bring that ocean to your property. You have to think in terms, okay, how can I build a stream to bring that water to me? You know, and bring plenty of water. Boom, you'll do it. Because once you have an abundance consciousness and think there's plenty of money, your brain will start thinking, okay, how can I get into that? You know, and then the ideas will just flow. But see, a lot of people got a poverty consciousness because they think, oh, there's no money out here or I can't make money. That's because they're not thinking on what can they do, what kind of service or product they can provide to get a job. Even even a job, I'm going to tell you one thing. Whenever I went on a job, I always looked at it as if I'm an independent contractor just giving them some of my time. I, I treated my jobs as a business. 
That's what I did. I always came went on a job like I was an independent contractor because I always realized I always had a job, a, a chance to be on it. So I ain't look at it like, oh, I'm at the uh, mercy of these people. It's like, oh, okay. They're going to pay me this much to be here at a certain time and to do these things. So that's how I went at it. And one of the things I did, because one of, a valuable lesson I learned, I say back in the early 90s, uh, I worked a lot of temp jobs. I worked a lot of temp jobs, and I've also uh, worked as a contractor. One thing I learned there is that a job can end every time, right? But that actually helped develop my consciousness because then I looked at it like, oh, I'm performing a service. This is a business. Let me do the best thing. And then if something happened here, I'll just get something else. Right? You just got to have it. You know, you got that abundance, plenty of money, but then take the actions to get it. Like I mentioned, uh, it was like uh, around 2005. 2005, 2000, yeah, about 2005, right? I needed, uh, I still had the business, but it's still a tough going, still tough going. Needed just a little bit extra, and I said, okay, I need a job, right? I need a part-time job. The day I went out, and I actually hit the pavement, that by the end of that day, I had two part-time jobs, and neither job advertised. <laughs> neither job advertised. You know, especially this one job. It was at a gym. I just walked. I just saw the gym. I said, hey, y'all need anybody? <laughs> and, you know, they were like, oh, yeah, sure. You know? And all of a sudden, I was in there. But I had the abundance mindset that there's plenty of stuff out there. You know? Because that's what it'll do. Once you know there's plenty of money, then it's like, okay, you know how to take the actions to get that money. But you got to have it. You got to, You can't go out thinking, oh, there's no money out here. There's nothing. All of that. Don't even think like that. Don't even think in terms of the job out there. Even when it's tight, there's always a service somebody needs. Like one of the things people don't realize, there's a lot of people who make money. There's a lot of people who make money out there, but they might not have an official business. Like when I see like kids uh, on the side of a road selling some water. We're on a very hot day. That's a mindset. Or, you know, some men may be push, walking down the street pushing lawnmowers, hitting people's houses up to see if they need their grass cut. Once you have that mindset, you'll figure, you'll translate that into a way to make money, to get the money, because you know the money's already there, but you got to figure out how to dig, like the ocean analogy, or dig a, a ditch or something to bring some of that water from the ocean to your place. So I want y'all to think about that. Have an abundance consciousness. So that's all I got for today. You know the deal. Let's go make that money. Mm.